you feel like you bored in a wrong body. And the doctors say you was a man or or born female. Say you was born female, you want to be a man. Okay? Or a boy. Okay? Um and then and um one I mean this is the one on one part two show, okay? Um is like I when I first transitioned, I really, really didn't know how to do it when I first transitioned. I like, like, I didn't really knew where to go to do my name change, but I did some research on the internet where to go, like, I went to the state, um, courthouse, first, and then I went over to legal aid, and I hired legal aid to do my name change, I have to, they had, a uh, um, I had to put $25, for the name change um, application, you know, but just to follow it. But then I had, then I had to waive the cost. Uh, I got that 25 hours back after they um, followed it, you know, and uh, I went into my Social Security check on the name change money. I got paid to do my sex change. I still have money in the account just to do the sex change into my health insurance. It went to my health insurance. Um but um when I did my name change they had a um wave I had to do a poor man's wave for my name change because it's like is like is like thirty two hundred dollars to do your name change in the US is like thirty two hundred dollars. But I still have to pay money to do my birth certificate to change my gender on my birth certificate and then I have to change my gender what um the health apartment of the state of New York. And that's a long, 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 long process. You know, the state of New York was, when I did my name change, I supposed to did my sex change, um, like the gender marker. But I did the gender marker on my ID, but that's not enough. Mostly health, health companies want all of the paperwork, what you first started, what your name changed, you know. So it could be updated with your health insurance companies and, you know, passports, I, um, IDs is separate. Because New York, when you change your name at your ID, it's separate from New York State. Because I got a federal ID. Because I'm a ride operator. I get a federal ID. Because and then I get a um, passport. So I can go to like Mexico. Um, the Caribbean. Because our, our company where I work for. Go to the Caribbean. And Jamaica, they go to too on the off season. So, in the Virgin Islands, we go to too. So you know that' what I want to do. You know that why I want to get on probation so I could be in in like I could look like a a red. Um, lobster. 
This is Francie Marie James. Please like and subscribe. I tell you how to do the name change. But when you do your SRS surgery, you need to get your gender markers for that so you can get your all your paperwork changed with hospitals and everything. And that's what you I did it that the other day, the gender markers at St. Mary's. So now I'm a female in their paperwork. You know, female, normal female. Because I've been doing this for two years, the hormones. So it's kind of like they count me as a female now. A regular girl. Born as female. So, you know, mostly and when I go to Memorial Hospital, that what it would be. Y'all tell. This is Francine Marie Jennings. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon and share the video. And this is Bonjour Wee Wee.